How are you doing GQ? Here are my essentials as a university student. It's usually celebrities that do these types of videos, but nah man, my name is Aldrich and I'm inviting myself onto GQ because just recently I've just reached 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel. The way I see 200 subscribers is like 200 people in a lecture theater, like in my uni, that's that's a lot of people. And with that being said, let's start with the first thing I can't live without. This card holder is the first thing I can't live without because it has my student ID, it has my provisional license. I can't drive yet. <laughs> it has my bank cards and I also have like loyalty cards for like um, shops and stuff. And it's just all in one convenient like wallet. It's so much better than your typical wallet with cash and coins and nah everything you need is just here and if I ever do need cash then I'll just put it in like my emergency compartment in the middle so just in case you know I, yeah, I might need that so yeah I have the aloe vera Vaseline on my left pocket at all times I'm somebody who has dry lips unfortunately and it's something that I'm self-conscious about so I put on Vaseline like on a regular basis throughout the day and it serves me well. <laughs> my wireless earphones of choice are the AirPod Pros. Now, truth be told, I can't afford this. I ended up saving a lot of money just to get these earphones. Like they're very expensive and I was in the market for headphones with noise cancelling, but overall I don't really like headphones because of the way, you know, I put them on and the way it ruins my hairstyle, my hair kind of just grows up and when my hair goes flat because of the headphones, it just makes me look like an egg from behind and <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want to look like an egg. And over time, it kind of gets sweaty across my ears and I have to, you know, air it out a bit and, and I, I don't really like having this big chunky thing on my head. So to have the noise cancellation experience in just, you know, a small package, right? Just earphones. That's something I really value. I'm telling you, if you see me in real life, you'll probably see me wearing this backpack because it has everything. It's so much bigger than my old Vans bag that I used to have in year 11 to sixth form to first year uni. It has like five massive compartments. Um, one of the compartments is like my water bottle compartment, my umbrella because in the UK, you never know when it's gonna rain. And in the inside, there's like a laptop sleeve where you can put your laptop in. And this bag is big enough to put a hoodie inside. So during cold times, right, um, I would put on the hoodie and you just never know when it's going to get cold in the UK. My signature pair of shoes are the Adidas Continental 80s. Now these, I can dress them up, I can dress them down. I've worn them to the Philippines, I've worn them in the UK. It's so stylish, the leather makes it a little bit water resistant and makes my feet warm, especially in the UK. Now I've not really cleaned them to show you that yo, I actually wear these and beat these up, you know, I just put them on and I know like these shoes look good. <laughs> I'd, I'd recommend these. <laughs> You might have seen this in my previous videos and you would know that this is my to-do list. Every day I would write up to three things on what I'd want to accomplish in the day and get them done. And there's just something about having a physical book that you can feel, that you can touch and that you can like open up uh, and you can get a pen and write it down. There's just something about it that makes me feel like I'm doing work. This laptop was a gift from my parents for me getting into university after I repeated a year in sixth form. And I, I used this laptop to make reports, to do presentations, to use Google Docs, to program on MATLAB, to program on C, to program on C++, to hand in assignments, to do presentations. I pretty much use it for uni needs. I've done all my multiple choice quizzes. This is a premium machine. I do not take this for granted at all. This was so expensive and I'm really fortunate to be in the position to have such like a premium machine. Like I think I would have been able to go by with a less expensive laptop, but the fact that my parents, you know, were offering to go that extra mile for me to get a more like expensive machine, a more capable machine, then 
Oh man, I just, I re I, I'm really grateful and yeah, I, I love this laptop so much. Aldrich, why on earth do you have a laptop and a tablet? Well, I have a tablet because this is my notebook on steroids. Like that's the best way I can describe it. It's so much easier to organize my folders. I don't need to worry about all that paper and all that organization. Every, all of that is just really easy to do in this thin package, which is pretty amazing. And like, I really like the pencil, how it attaches onto it as well. The writing experience is amazing. Um, and just recently I've been using it to edit these YouTube videos and to produce these thumbnails for my channel. And I also use it to watch Netflix, obviously, to watch some YouTube. And I don't really use my earphones when I'm using, when I'm watching YouTube because the speakers, it's just, it's just, it's good enough to be honest. Just like my AirPod Pros, I use the money that I worked like hours and months for to invest in this machine. And I even waited until the 2020 iPad Pro release so that this 2018 iPad Pro would be cheaper on the refurbished store on the Apple website. So I'd save more money, but I did want an iPad Pro because I wanted that premium feeling and I wanted to make sure that this was a machine that I wanted to use. And I'm not saying that you need an iPad Pro, you do not need an iPad Pro to succeed in university or for uni at all. But if you are looking for a paperless solution, then I do recommend you look at the iPad line in the, uh, the Apple website and obviously just choose the laptop you fancy from there. Laptop, tablet. Yes, I do own a hairdryer. Back in the day when I was in year 11, I'd have like this huge quiff and like people would call me the hair guy. People would recognize me from a mile away because of the volume of my quiff. And at the time I thought, you know what? I was, I felt pretty cool, right? But um, it, over time, it just started becoming hard to manage. And I just preferred this short, messy, laid back hairstyle. And I've been having this sort of hairstyle since uh, second year uni and it's just a lot more convenient shorter hair is just so much better like less time styling like oh it takes less than a minute to blow dry my hair into place um, it's just it's just a lot easier you know when I know my hair is in shape and you know it looks good yeah, I look in the mirror I, I just feel a lot more confident and you know like who doesn't want to feel confident about the way they look I got this iPhone XS in June for my birthday and I upgraded from the iPhone 6S and I'm telling you, the differences between the two phones, <laughs> it's actually mad. Now, anything was better than the 6S or the battery life in my iPhone 6S. Like I'd watch one YouTube video and it would just eat up like So in conclusion, I wanna thank GQ for having me on this video. Oh, <laughs> uh, can you imagine though? I even tried to, copy the blue light but anyway on a serious note i do really thank the 200 subscribers like i think 200 subscribers is like 200 people like that's crazy to me like that's mad and if you're one of those people that watch like my videos and you do find value in them that i really it does mean a lot to me because that's what i'm trying to provide um may that be inspirational value motivation or maybe a new learning technique or like maybe entertainment or you're just here to come chill like honestly thank you so much and i really do hope that in my future videos that i'm constantly able to give you some value because that's something i wish that um uh, i got when i was younger and i didn't get from others and i kind of just want to give back and kind of share what I can with you. And yeah, thank you for commenting on my videos. You know who you are. Thank you for ins like the Instagram messages that you send me. Um, I do respond to you. I do take the time. I really do try and respond to you as if I was like your like older brother pretty much. And yeah, just, just thank you for 200 subscribers. And I do hope that you're in this for the long run i do hope that uh yeah you stick around and or maybe just come by and see how the channel's doing but 
Anyway, I do hope you have a good rest of your day. I do hope your family and all that is safe in lockdown. I hope you guys have an amazing day. All right, take care, yeah? Safe.